It's funny, I'll make this very USC'd out. Vayner Sports is a sports agency that my brother and I started. Uh, it's three years old, it's doing extremely well. We have 25 guys we rep. We love football, we're all about it. It is our passion. We had the great fortune of being in the final three to get Sam Darnold. So I flew, this is the second year, our company's like two seconds old. But because of who I am and because of who Sam is, we were in the mix, legitimately in the mix. Much to the like shock of like the sports agency world. So we fly to Sam's house. I fly from family vacation. I remember Sam's dad calls and goes, it's this time, this is the only slot, this is when we're doing it. And I remember like me and AJ working on logistics and like the only way we could do it was I had to get like a private plane, which I don't like being bougie, but I'm like, fuck it, this is the moment, like you know? <laughs> so we get there and it's like the greatest and they're the best. I don't know how many of you interacted with Sam at his time here, but like the best dude and all this good stuff. And it gets to the final moment of the pitch and we're just wrapping up and I look at Sam and his parents and I go, Darnold, listen to me and listen to me good. If I had my choice of Sam going with Vayner Sports and going number one overall to the Browns, and mind you, if Sam had decided to go with Vayner Sports, he didn't, but if he did, it would have changed the trajectory of our company. It would have like been disproportionate leverage, it would have changed everything. I go, if I had my choice of you going to Vayner Sports with us and going number one overall to the Browns, or you not going with us, but going three to the Jets, I'm telling God right now, I want you to go to the Jets. Aww. And we were in the green room because we represented Josh Jackson at that draft, and he gets picked, and I'm like, there's this incredible clip of Sam getting drafted and hugging his parents, and me in the background looking like a weird fucking stalker. <laughs> and like, he gets drafted, and like, I hug his mom like one second late, like literally, she just hugs Sam, and then she turns to me and she hugs me, and she whispers, and she's like, you told God to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so.